Welcome to the Coorong in South Australia. The Coorong is an estuarine area at the end of Australia's longest river, the River Murray. So there's a mix of salt water and freshwater lagoons and lakes. Very large area, there's about 100,000 hectares of lakes here. Uh, and we get birds coming from all around the world, but this is not a migratory bird, this is one of the local uh, species. This is called a data. Now when I first looked at this, I thought it was a cormorant, but uh, I've just purchased a new uh, Panasonic FZ80 camera with super zoom. So when I zoomed in, you can see the beak more clearly. And you see darters don't have a hook on the end of their beak. Cormorants do. And cormorants are more of an ocean-going bird, you know, uh, whereas darters like inland lakes and, and rivers and things like that. Now, because I had the super zoom, I could see that she had something on a beak. At first I thought it might have been a growth, you know, maybe a natural thing. But uh, I suspected it looks like a piece of rubbish. It looks like she's actually speared a piece of rubbish and it's stuck around a beak, which concerns me. You know? Now I actually have been uh, searching around the wet ponds and wetlands around me to see if she's still hanging around, you know. And, and if she's still got this bit of rubbish on a beak, then we'll try to get one of the local wildlife rescue groups to... Uh, liaise with the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries and try to capture her and, and get rid of the problem, you know, but uh, because she's got a straight beak, um, she's likely to remedy the problem herself. I hope so anyway. Um, so why would she have this problem? I mean, you know, you'd think that a data would be pretty um, adept at, at fishing and, and spearing things. Well, of course, it's a juvenile bird and they grow an experience, you know, so hopefully here's an experience she learns. <laughs> Well, that when you when you're fishing in in ponds and lakes, be careful what you spear. So, what would you be eating in this wetland? This wetland is right opposite me, and at the moment, um, there's so many frogs in this in this uh, uh, particular lagoon that they keep me awake at night. So, I think that she's come down here like a lot of the other birds have, um, and also snakes. Uh, they like to eat frogs, you know. In fact, uh, this bird is mistaken sometimes for a snake. You know, observe how flexible her neck is. And when they're uh, hunting or, or fishing, whatever you want to say, they uh, swim along in the water with just their neck and their, their head showing, you know. And because their neck is, neck is so flexible, sometimes they look like a large snake swimming through the water. So they've come to be known as snake birds. Now the irony is that sometimes if you see uh, particularly tiger snakes like water, and they can be a very large snake, and one of the most venomous snakes in the world, when they're swimming along they can often do a rather similar kind of thing, so a bit of a worrying experience. But let's hope she does well, and off she goes now, she's decided to leave me, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the little bit of video. I'll see you later. Here she goes.